Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of my Feed the Beast Survival. So in the last episode, it was just a real quick video about how I was building my smeltery and once I'd finished it, I'd get back with another video. So I am back and I have got my smeltery finished, just about, I think. So um, I thought I'd take you through a few things that you can do with it and what I've been doing with it and what I've learned from it because I've never actually used the smeltery before even though I have been playing um, Feed the Beast for quite a while now. So it's all new to me and hopefully it might be new to you and we can both learn something in um, the making of it. So I'm going to come back now with what I've been doing with it. So guys, making stencils as part of the smeltery is a little bit different to how we would normally do it. So before you would obviously just make um, a pattern from sticks and wood and use your pattern builder or pattern maker. That's really simple. But using your smeltery to make um, a higher quality item is a bit different. So for this you need copper and aluminium. So if you go ahead and smelt all of that in here and make all your ingots happy days but to make um, the stencils you need aluminum brass so to make um, aluminum brass or aluminium brass however you want to say it this is what you're gonna need so we're gonna leave this smelting and then I'll come back with you once we've got our uh, aluminium brass made so as you can see we've got plenty of aluminum brass so now to make the stencils what you're gonna need to do is is you're going to need to make cobblestone versions of the items needed to craft the tools. So I'm going to make a lumber axe. So I'll just write this in here so we can see it. Is it going to bring it up? There we go. So I'm going to make just a lumber axe. So you make everything out of stone first. So this is everything you need to make the stone lumber axe. So what you need to do now is you need to come over to your casting table, put your piece in and then click on your faucet and then the aluminium brass is going to go around it and then set and make a stencil. So there's our first piece and I actually already have that one so I'm just going to miss him out for a wee second just so I don't waste any of this at the minute because it's all new to me as well. So there's another one and then I'll make this one too. So as simple as that, that's it. And then we have, how much do we have left? We have quite a lot left. So I'm gonna make a bunch of other patterns with all this stuff and then once that's emptied, I will show you what I'm gonna make from, um, from the rest of it. Right guys, so I've got rid of all the aluminum brass and what I have now is a bunch of iron in there. So all we're going to do now is we're going to go put our stencils back in, we're going to click the faucet again, and then the iron's going to pour into the stencil. And that's how we're going to make all of our pieces out of iron. So we'll just let this do this. There's one piece. I hope I have enough iron for this. Maybe not. <laughs> just my luck. <laughs> There's that one. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough iron. Oh, darn it. Right, guys, I'm going to quickly put more iron in and then I'll be back. Okay, so we're back with more iron. Let's hope it's enough this time. So let's fill the binding one up again. Right, that's that one. And then all we need now is the tough rod. Let's hope we have enough in there. Perfect. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our Tinker's Construct uh, forge table. Or tool forge, not forge table. I knew what I meant. <laughs> and then we're going to put our iron pieces in. And there we have it. So you see the lumber axe now comes with um, the the enchantment of reinforced one which is awesome so I'm hoping that this is gonna last longer be better um, we'll go and go and test her out 
We've got plenty of these trees to cut down. Nice and quick as well. It's the only problem with stone stuff is it just you kind of start missing the speed of um, like the iron stuff when you craft it. But I'm lucky enough to have picked up plenty of um, of iron as I've gone along. Oh, there's a creeper over there. I'll be sure to stay away from him. So that's how you make these pieces from the smeltery. I'm going to play around with them and uh, make loads more. And uh, if you see here, you know, you can make loads of different types of of these pieces. So I just need to get plenty more um, ores and, and pieces like that. And then we'll be able to make loads more of this stuff. We need to get obsidian. Look at that one. Reinforced three. That would be brilliant. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. It's just a quick one just to show you how I was getting on again with this smeltery. I think it's really good. It's really handy. You can make loads of stuff from it and, and get plenty of iron and all your materials back just from one piece of ore. I mean I think that's great. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.